Hello, it's Stuart with another clip and uh, I'm starting to become a fan of Forrest because there are so many Christians that call in who clearly know very little about science uh, yet if they don't speak to an atheist who is really quite really very, very well clued up uh, on biology in particular uh, they could come away thinking that they made a good case but uh, <laughs> Forrest actually is, is very, very skillful and very knowledgeable and he's got credentials. There's another call here where a Christian is calling in, or at least I assume he's a Christian, saying essentially that because there are still lots of gaps in our knowledge that since, since the, um, I don't know, 50, 60 years ago, uh, certain experiments proved that the building blocks of life can occur naturally we've not really made any progress and that therefore we've still got a lot to explain and um, actually the whole door on uh, intelligent design is open. Well, uh, Forrest does a very nice job of closing that door shut. So let's just, uh, let's just follow this up. You can do in a jar. None of this is magical. Well, no, it's, well, the, but the, but the, the issue is that the origin of life, like, I mean, when they looked at the cell, like when you have like, like, for example, like this is, again, I'm not somebody who's like, who's very knowledgeable in this field, but when you looked at the Miller-Urey experiment from the 1950s, where they tried to basically replicate like some of the prebiotic conditions on, you know, on the early earth, there's, there were so many, like, if you look, that was in the 1950s. And if you look at like right. where we are now, like generally science, like, you know, inches forward, towards it makes progress it's incremental progress sometimes it's slow but it usually moves towards the goalpost and what seems to be happening in this field of research is that they they're actually making like reverse progress like they've d discovered that the cell is so much more complex than we ever imagined and they're nowhere near like it's not like they've gotten closer to describing the origin of life it's they're further away from describing the original life because as they keep learning more in this area, they keep realizing like the difficulty of life originating through purely, you know, random processes. Now it's either we know life. They keep coming back to this, uh, uh, these dishonest, uh, misleading terms like, Oh, it all happened by chance. Oh, it was all random. That's not true. So why do you say that? Like for the RNA world hypothesis, for example, like that's been, that's been out for a while. Like that was like 2005, wasn't it? And I don't so, think like, here's you know, the thing like, is that number one, Yuri and Miller did their famous experiment. Yes. In the 1950s. And they showed that amino acids self-assemble from very basic ordinary chemicals you find all over the universe under remarkably mundane conditions. Um, that was also 70 years ago. And we've done a lot of other things like that since then, which have consistently over and over shown that not just amino acids, but all of the basic building blocks of life self-assemble under remarkably mundane conditions. Um, so like, for example, we just talked about the five, you know, uh, nuclei, uh, the five uh, uh, nitrogenous bases of nucleic acid. We have all the amino acids here. We've also found amino acids on asteroids in space. Um, you know, the things that make lipids, there's four major bio biological macromolecules, nucleic acids, proteins, lipids, and carbohydrates. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, I can guarantee you that this caller, actually, me too, has got absolutely no idea. Uh, you know, I mean, I wasn't that much, wasn't much good at biology, but um, uh, I've, he's got no idea what Forrest is talking about. Uh, he's got no way of responding to any of this. <laughs> So nucleic acids and proteins we've covered, right. um, lipids and carbohydrates made of uh, 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 fatty acids and sugars, respectively. Again, self-assemble. Again, we found. Can you see the way that uh, the Christian has opened the door? Say, oh, well, we still don't know. There are so many gaps. Uh, we've gone in reverse. We know even less than we did before. And I like the way that Forrest is gradually closing that door shut like that on God and intelligent design. On them in space. And also the way that all of those things chain together and polymerize is not a mystery to us. So like 
even if like there are certain gaps in our knowledge because you're right we have found that things are very very complex and there's certain things that we don't understand yet but like we have step one step two step three we're missing step four and then we have five through a hundred and so like if you want to say well you don't have step four and that means that's god what are you gonna do in 20 years when we find step four because right now you're making the same argument that was made 30 years ago when we didn't have step seven or eight either. And then we found those. And then you're like, but step four! And like, that's that's just not good enough. Yeah, I mean, even if, uh, okay, so it's been 70 years since those experiments. Even if it's another 500 or 1,000 years until the next uh, you know, significant discovery, it doesn't make any difference. If it's tens of thousands of years away, I don't think that um, you know people who support intelligent design are claiming that because because we don't know everything, uh, therefore um, it must have been a god. I don't really think that they've got a real grasp of how to determine whether actually something uh, is a reasonable conclusion or not. And that's why, again, intelligent design is not a theory. It's just I don't know how this works. Therefore, Jesus. And that's not that's not <laughs> science. I want to pop in. Okay, well done, Forrest. Another um, creationist uh, completely debunked. Um, I think I think that's very good. I admire I admire the way that you uh, were actually quite patient with this guy. You let him say his piece. You waited. You you formulated a response and you delivered it to absolute perfection. You completely ruined him uh, intellectually. So great. Well done. Uh, very good uh, performance. Okay, I'll be back again soon. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.